Good day, David Smith here with David Smith Radon. Uh, as many of you know, uh, we're a radon supplier as well as uh, a 20 year veteran of radon mitigation. Uh, we think we know a lot about uh, radon supplies having done mitigations for uh, 20 years and approximately 8,000 jobs. Uh, we'd like to, uh, to let you know today we're gonna talk about new construction and the different techniques you can use for new construction. All of us know that new construction is becoming a bigger item. Uh, we have uh, been doing new construction for 20 years. We started in 1998 doing new construction and we increase that portion of our business every year. So we, uh, we feel like we know quite a bit about new construction, have learned a lot about what, uh, what's good and what's bad about it. So I'm gonna go through the basic four ways that new construction can be done uh, as far as I know. And uh, some of that's relevant to Illinois and some of it is relevant to other places. And uh, I think we'll start with the most commonly used method. And the most commonly used method is just a, simply a T. Most states uh, uh, have a T written into their, uh, into their literature, if they have literature. Uh, one thing we found about uh, installing a T is, uh, first of all, I'd like to mention in Illinois, you must add a minimum of five feet of perforated tile on each end of that T. Uh, I, I want to caution people, some of the uh, videos I've seen showing, show that uh, uh, perforated tile going through the T. Remember, if it goes through the T, you severely restrict the flow. And passive radon systems value depend on flow, as we all know. And so the other problem that we've always seen with a T is uh, by the time the concrete gets poured, we're not sure what we've got left, but what we do know is it's never how we started because the, the difference between doing a, a T for radon and saying roughing in for a plumber is you don't have much to connect A and B. And so what we, uh, what we don't do it this way very often personally, but what we suggest and what we have done in the past is we drill this T on each end and then we add a, 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 about 18 inches of rebar to that T and then we simply beat it into the earth. Now, when you do that, it stabilizes your T, it keeps the concrete guys from uh, hitting it with, uh, with their tools and bumping it out of level. Uh, it also helps stabilize the height of it so you maintain the height that you originally put it in at. So uh, it's just a recommendation that you can uh, make it a lot easier on yourself uh, uh, in the future by using a piece of rebar. I know uh, uh, in the old days when copper pipe was used a lot more than the, than the PEX that's used nowadays, we'd find an old piece of copper pipe that was thrown over in the corner and do it with that. So there's other things you can use, but this rebar is very inexpensive. And so that's a suggestion for people that still do the T method. Remember if you're in Illinois and even if you're not, it is an asset to put perforated tile on each end of it. Do not run it through it. So there we are with the number one used method. Now at least in Illinois, a secondary method is the interior footing tile. If uh, most homes are uh, by code have interior footing tile these days, at least in, in, uh, in the central United States. And uh, uh, you can drill right into the interior footing tile, have a highly effective system. Once again, you have the stabilization issues, uh, but however, you're also close to an exterior wall when you do this type of uh, installation, so you can find a way to anchor it to the exterior wall. Uh, personally, we don't do it this way because I just have this phobia about uh, the fact that if something ever happened to that interior footing tile, some, somewhere in the process the radon guy may, uh, may, may get his name brought up since he invaded the tile. So we don't personally do this, but it's a highly effective way of doing uh, a passive radon system as we all know. Uh, because the, the, I call it a racetrack, but the track that the uh, uh, interior footing tile takes is very valuable to removing radon. Uh, the third method is not allowed in Illinois, and I'd like to spend a minute explaining why it's not allowed in Illinois, but it is allowed in many states, and that is the sump basin method. Uh, many states that we deal with uh, simply build it out of the sump basin. Uh, quick, effective, works very well, uh, here's an example of it. We, we actually have a gasket we sell for that. Makes it a lot easier. I'll, I'll spend a minute pulling this thing out so I can demonstrate that gasket. Take me just a minute here. So this gasket 
makes it real handy to mount your, uh, uh, as you can see, it was a tight fit. And uh, of course that seal is very important. So this gasket's available for purchase uh, in four, for four and three inch pipe. This is not allowed in Illinois by code. Uh, the reasoning is uh, the examples that have been seen by the administrators in Illinois that write the rule book is that we all know it's highly effective, but uh, in the middle of a storm when your sump quits and, and you have to get up and replace it as fast as you possibly can, now you've added another element to take apart uh, that slows you down. Now that's only half the equation. The big problem is many times it doesn't get put back together. So if this pipe doesn't get put back in here, now you're sucking air out of your basement. So you got two things happening. You don't have a radon system anymore. You're depleting your basement of conditioned air, which could also call, cause carbon monoxide issues. So Illinois feels like uh, this is not, not a way to do uh, passive radon mitigation because of those reasons. And I agree with them. I, I happen to agree with them on that. So here's, the, here's this method. Now let's go to what we do and what we sell. Uh, through all the mitigation systems we've done, uh, first of all, we core drill most of them. We can get to that later. But if we're going to do something under the floor, we don't like, this simply doesn't cover enough area to suit us uh, for, um, for stabilization. Uh, this, I've explained why we don't like. This is a platform that we sell and we build. Now, under this platform, I'm going to turn this around. Under this platform, we install two pieces of perforated tile to elevate it. Now bear in mind if you're in Illinois, if you're in Illinois, these two pieces need to be five feet this way and five feet this way to follow code. Very simple to do. That's how we build them on site, but, it, but you can also snap a piece into it with the fittings that they have for perforated tile. So this makes it very easy to follow code and to get a better product and, um, and give you more stabilization. So uh, as we all know, the gravel, you want to install your tile within the gravel. This is top of gravel, bottom of concrete. And then once again, we do the same thing where we install rebar. Once we get it where we want it, we stabilize it with rebar. Underneath this thing, we have a flange that's bolted to this product. This is quarter inch ASB plastic. Uh, we mount this flange so that we can glue our stub in, put our cap on, and then your concrete's going to come to about here. Then we can build a system from there. So I'm going to pull this out if I can, and I'm going to show what comes within that product. And once again, we sell, we sell this product. It's something that we created because we are mitigators. It's something we created because we know the challenges of new construction. So you're already seeing the bottom. Now you're seeing the end, side, top. And so you can see the advantage of the stabilization of this product. You can see the fact that you can further stabilize it with the rebar being pounded into the earth and then you have a positive stop here. So um, we think this product is, uh, is highly effective and we're aware that there are products on the market that are molded that are made for the same purpose and uh, I'm not so sure, uh, I don't like those products because they simply only cover about this much area. And once again, I feel like you're getting into a stabilization issue. Uh, I, the area helps the stabilization. So um, that's about it on new construction. This is available through our, through our company, through our warehouse. We've tried to make it very price competitive. Uh, look online, you'll see that we've added it online. Thank you very much.